Hey guys, this is Alberto and thanks for joining me in another Moonbeam tutorial. Today's video will be a little bit different, as we will use the Web3 library to send a transaction in Moonbeam. For that, we will code together a couple of files in JavaScript. Make sure you have watched our tutorials on setting up a local node, and with that, let's get started. First, as always, make sure that you have a fresh instance of your local Moonbeam node running. Then, on a different terminal tab, I'm going to create a new folder that I'm going to name Transaction. And here, I'm going to put all the files regarding this tutorial. In the folder, let's run npm init dash dash yes. And this is going to create our package.json file. Now, let's install the Web3 library by running npm install dash dash save Web3. This will take a while, so I'll skip ahead and see you in a bit. Once it's finished, I'm going to clear the terminal. But before we go to coding, I want to show you a little file with the diagram that I created. So here we have our transaction folder where we're going to host two files. The first one, transaction.js, is going to be in charge of creating and signing the transaction. The second one, balances.js, is the one we're going to use to check the balance of our accounts before and after the transaction. In this way, we can make sure that our transaction went correctly. So let's go to our transaction file. First, we have to import our Web3 library into our Web3 constructor. Next, let's define our variables. First, the private key, then the address from, followed by the address to, and lastly, our Web3 instance. With a little bit of magic, I'm going to copy this info into the file. Note that our Web3 instance is basically the local host that is the local Moonbeam node. Let's move to our transaction. First, we're going to define an asynchronous arrow function named deploy that is going to handle all the promises of the transaction. We're going to call this function at the bottom of the file. Inside the function, we're going to use the sign transaction method from the Web3 library. Here, we have to pass in the transaction object and the private key. This returns a promise, so we need the await syntax, and we're going to save this in a create transaction variable. Let's define the transaction object. In here, we have to set the from address, the to address, the value, and in here we can use the Web3 library to transform, for example, from Ether to Way. Make sure that you set both as a string. And lastly, the gas limit. Currently, the value needs to be manually set, as we're working through some issues related to the gas estimation. Now let's move to the deploy part. First, let's create a receipt for our transaction that is going to store the value returned by the send sign transaction method from the Web3 library. This method needs the raw transaction property from our create transaction variable. And that's it. That's a transaction file. I'm going to add a couple of console logs that will provide a little bit more information regarding the transaction. For the balance file, I went ahead and copied a lot of the similar information. We don't need the private key as we're not signing any transactions. So here, let's use the getBalance method from the Web3 library. This is a call method, so we only have to provide the address. Next, we can transform the balance to Ether using the fromWay method. And last, let's define a variable to store the value. For the other balance, we can copy these lines and change the name of the variable and the address too. And that's it, we have our balance file. Let's test them out in the terminal. Here, use note to check the balances before the transaction. Next, let's call the transaction file. Once completed, you should see the transaction hash. And finally, let's check our balances after the transaction. As we can see, the bottom account has now 100 ETH. 
And that is it. We have sent a transaction using the Web3 library and some simple JavaScript code. In the next tutorial, we'll do something similar, but deploying a smart contract. As always, feel free to join our Element Room, contact us in Telegram, and visit our website, moonbeam.network. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you the next time. Thank you.